Hey, it's time for Tony's Tea. A look at some entertainment headlines that grab my attention today. Bobby Brown's book, Every Little Step, isn't even out yet, but everybody's talking about all the bombs that are in it. The latest to come out is that Whitney Houston smoked weed with their daughter, Bobby Christina, Nick Gordon, and Bobby's daughter, LaPrincia. Bobby also claims that Whitney cheated several times during the marriage, including an affair with Tupac. Now, Bobby admits that he slept with Madonna and Janet Jackson, not at the same time, but he says with all the shade thrown his way from his ex-in-laws, Bobby writes that both Whitney and Christy had been tragically lost on their watch, not mine. So everybody knows that Prince had a ton of money when he died, but did you know that half may be lost because of an heir that's bigger than any siblings, half siblings, people claiming to be siblings or relatives combined? I'm talking about his uncle Sam. Uncle Sam wants half. Bremer Trust, the special administrator for Prince's estate, got permission, though, to hire entertainment industry experts to advise and assist. And that includes all prudent steps to monetize the estate and Prince's intellectual property and raising funds necessary for the payment of estate taxes. Lawyers for Bremer Trust say those estate taxes could eat up half of Prince's fortune. And Deion Sanders' teenage son is accused of beating a high school employee so bad that the employee needed spinal surgery. Now, it was all over a cell phone, and it happened in September of 2015. The reason why it's coming out now is because the insurance company that paid the workers' comp, they want to get reimbursed, so they're suing both Deion Sanders and his ex-wife, Pilar. That's the T. For Smooth RB 105.7, I'm Tony Scott.